the Bible says you are a light set on a hill to bring glory to the name of God. Is somebody listening to me? The miracle worker, the great I am, the first and last, the unchangeable changer, the savior of my soul, the father of life. Hello, it's good to see you again. It's a new beginning. Today is day eight, so it's a new beginning. You're welcome to our uh, 21 Days Marriage Nuggets. Um, today, we're going to be talking to everybody, everybody, married, single, man, woman. But you know I focus on the women. And so today I'm going to talk about one thing that impedes relationship, one thing that affects relationship, one thing that hinders a flow in a relationship, any kind of relationship, maybe between your sister, you and your sister, you and your brother, you and your colleague, you and your, you know, church member, you know. So today I'm going to talk about one very important thing that hinders relationship, relating with one another. I'm sure you're guessing what that thing is. I'm going to cap it up in one word, oversensitivity, oversensitivity. Now, it's good to be sensitive, especially to the Holy Spirit. It's good to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. But when you are oversensitive to things around, you impede relationships. When we talk about oversensitivity, what are we talking about? We're talking about reacting to everything, taking things too seriously. You get too easily hurt by what people say. You know, the Bible says that the one that looks over an offense is a wise person. It is wise for you to sometimes ignore some things. But you know, but what, when anything somebody says to you hurts you, gets you thinking, gets you worried, then there's a problem. Between you and your sister, you should be able to be free. They should be able to tell you when you are wrong, talk to you when things are not right. I think you should be able to also understand tough love. Tough love is... You know, when somebody tells you, ah, your hair is smelling, go and wash it. And you're not offended. Praise God. It's going to help you grow in relationships. So, one thing I would like you to know, there are some things I would like you to note. It's good to be sensitive, I said, to the Spirit of God. But not to self. You know, we are, some people are too sensitive about themselves. Everything has to be about them. If people are talking, it's about them, you know. So first of all, I'll talk about the symptoms. How does it show? How do you know? How do you know you have it? Please don't look at your sister. Don't, don't, don't think for your brother. Think for yourself today. Number one, one symptom of oversensitivity is pride. You always feel as if they hurt your ego. It's about your ego, you, you, you feel deflated when others correct you, you know, when others pick your mistakes. One thing you have to know, being oversensitive means that you are, you, are, you are proud. You know, you might think that, no, people don't like me, you're entering your shell, but no, 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 no. It's pride. The next thing I'll talk about is According to the scriptures, it said being anxious for nothing. When you see yourself being anxious 
Philippians 4, 6 to 7 says, Be anxious for nothing. It shows that you are not holding on to the Lord when you are anxious. When you are anxious, you, you trust more in yourself than in what God is saying. So don't be anxious because of what people are saying. The next thing is that we take things personally and end up believing the devil's lies. You know, when you are oversensitive, you, you take everything personally and then you begin to believe the devil. It's a lie. And then you become discouraged. He takes away courage from you. You're not able to go there again. You're not able to do it again. You're not able to, to, to face that thing with courage, face that relationship with courage because you're oversensitive. One other thing I'll talk about is um, when you are easily offended, when you are easily offended, that's oversensitive. You are, you are easily offended. You're, 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 you're not very strong and you are, it shows that you are not spiritual. You're very unspiritual. The Bible says that in Proverbs 24 verse 10, it says, if you faint in the day of adversity, you say your strength is small. One translation says you are made of a poor specimen. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 1, and 1 to 2, Paul said, I couldn't even speak to you concerning spiritual things. Because you are not spiritual. You're, you're still self-conscious. It's time for you to grow. Everybody wants a grown-up person. Nobody wants a baby that is always whining and crying and seeking for attention. One other thing I'll talk about, you know, the, the, the symptoms of uh, oversensitivity is that it makes it difficult to receive counsel. Before you know, you hinder training, you hinder spiritual growth. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 11, it says, endure chastening. When you are chastening, Enjoy it so that you can grow because you will need to grow. Time for growing is the tough times. Child of God, be tough. Take it. The songwriter says, with Jesus, I can take it. Hallelujah. So you should be able to take it. Take that correction. Praise the Lord. The next thing I'll talk about is that it hinders honest and open communication undermining our relationship with others. There should be honest communication. Honest communication. Open communication. You know, there are some people in your house, you don't know how to tell them the truth. Everybody is hiding. Maybe their, their dress has a stain. Nobody can tell them. And so because of that, they will go out like that. If you tell them you are in trouble, they begin to suspect you. They say you are looking down on them. <laughs> it, 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 it hampers relationship. Next is persistent sensitivity ultimately results in losing your usefulness. It's like when salt loses its taste, it becomes useless. People don't want to use you again. You are not effective because you are all in self. Everything is about you. You're worried. And remember, the Bible says as a good soldier in the lost army, we need to learn how to take it. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 says, Therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ. Deny yourself. Paul says, I die daily. Kill your sensitivity. Negative sensitivity. You pick wrong things. You know, sometimes some people see it as, yeah, it's good, you know, it's good to be sensitive. I am a very sensitive woman, but it's not paranoia. It's not time for you to be paranoid. You know, paranoia is quite different from sensitivity. Sensitivity is when you pick wrong signals and you deal with it. Not that you begin to react negatively to people. Sensitivity is in the spirit. When you pick things in the spirit and you deal with it, not to react negatively. Praise the Lord. We can change if we want to change. We can change from being oversensitive. We can fight oversensitivity and be less oversensitive to such things. Now, let me say this. I want you to 
look at some a solution. Let's look at this solution. Don't take things too personal. Stop thinking too much of yourself. Spend less time thinking of perceived put downs, imagined insults. Anything they say is you. Your husband cannot talk to you. Your wife cannot tell you anything. You say, is it because I did not go to school? Is it because I, I don't have a master's? It's because of this. That's why they're talking to me. Don't they know I'm older than them? You have to check all those things. It makes, it makes relationship go nowhere. It makes you lose your usefulness. It makes people not to become friendly with you. It makes people avoid you. I've seen people who end up being lonely. They're lonely because they can't tolerate people. In this world, we must tolerate people. A local proverb say, you will fall for me and I will fall for you. Praise the Lord. So when you see a good relationship, somebody is taking it. Somebody is taking it. So I will encourage you today as we pray. Peradventure, you have one of these traits in you. Peradventure, you have been oversensitive and people have started avoiding you. You know, you see people, when they see you coming, they just, they just want to shift. Because all the time your face is like a stone. They are afraid of telling you the truth. You know, remember in Israel when Ahab caused trouble? He was calling him Elijah. He was saying that it was Elijah that, that was the troublemaker. But he was the troublemaker. You know, these people tend to shift blames. You want to blame your uncle. You want to blame your auntie. You want to blame your mom. You want to blame your wife. You want to blame your, your, your children. Take the blame and grow up. Shall we pray today? I want you to pray after me. Say, say this prayer after me. Say every weight, every selfishness, every self that easily deters me, I command you in the name of Jesus to lose your hold over me. Every self, every self, every thinking too much of yourself, every pride, rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Command it to lose its hold over you. Every covering cast on you that will make people not to be friendly with you, talk to you, tell you the honest truth, we command it to break now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow.